Welcome to Canvas and CFB ISD, the official learning management system. Teachers will be using Canvas to take attendance for remote learners, host virtual classes, and provide their lessons and assignments. Students will be able to use other apps such as Seesaw, but they must log into Canvas every day to be counted as present. Students using Chromebooks will navigate to cfbisd.edu and find their school. When they click on their school, they will scroll down and go to the Digital Resources for Students page. There, they will see the Canvas login button. For students using an iPad, they'll need to find the Canvas Student app on their iPad. When they click on it for the first time, click on Find My School and type Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD and click. They should now see the login page where they'll use their student ID and password. If students don't know or forgot their password, you can click on Digital Resources for Students and then go to the Password Reset option. Here, you'll click on Forgot My Password and then answer the following questions. Canvas Navigation on Chromebooks After logging into Canvas, students will see course cards for their classes on their dashboard Elementary students may only see one. Click on the course card to start. Each course will have a homepage built by the teacher. They may look different. Here you will usually find information about the class, news, and other helpful material. There may even be links to assignments and modules. Canvas navigation on iPads. On an iPad, courses appear on the left and the navigation menu at the bottom. Dismiss any notifications and click on the course card to start. There you will see the home pages where you can click on any of the icons or links to get started. Joining virtual classes in WebEx. To join a virtual class meeting, students will use the Cisco WebEx menu option in the course navigation menu. Here they will see any scheduled meetings and the date and time that they start. To join the virtual class meeting, students will click on the green Join button at the designated time. A new tab will appear with the WebEx meeting. When the virtual meeting ends, students will return to the Canvas tab where they can later view any recordings of previous meetings. On an iPad, the Cisco WebEx menu option is on the left. They can click it to see any scheduled virtual class meetings and use the green button to join. Teachers may communicate other ways to join as well. Completing assignments on Chromebooks. Completing assignments can look different in each course. Some courses may have you click on a module button or use the left-hand navigation menu. When you open an assignment in Canvas, students will need to read instructions to determine what kind of assignment it is. It may be a quiz, discussion post, or they'll need to submit something. Here, students must complete a part of the assignment in another app, Seesaw. Going back to the Digital Resources tab and clicking on the Seesaw button, students are able to log into their Seesaw accounts. They may need instructions if it's the first time they're logging in. They can then click on the Activities menu option, find their assignment, and click Add Response. Here, they will see the regular Seesaw tools where they can edit their assignment, reread the instructions, and click on the green check mark to submit. The activity in Seesaw has now been submitted students still need to return back to Canvas to continue their work. In this example, the student needs to click on the Submit Assignment button and determine what they need to turn in. In this example, the teacher wants them to upload something and they have four options. We're going to click on Text Entry where we will type and let our teacher know that we have submitted our assignment in Seesaw. Again, 
this may look different in every assignment in every course, and not every assignment will need something submitted or uploaded. After clicking Submit Assignment, you will get a notification that the assignment has been turned in and a timestamp so that both the teacher, student, and parent will know when it was submitted. If you need to resubmit, use the resubmit button. Completing assignments on an iPad. On an iPad, students will use the home page to navigate to their teacher's assignments. In this example, we click on the ELA button and the link for the first assignment. Students can read about the due date, if they need to submit anything or attach anything, and read any directions. In this example, we're gonna scroll down because as we can see, we actually need to open up a second app, Seesaw, in order to complete this assignment. You can double click the home button on your iPad and then open up the Seesaw app. If your student needs additional help logging into Seesaw, please contact the teacher. From the activities tab, we can see that same activity and we're gonna click on the add response button. We're still able to use all of the same Seesaw tools such as recording, drawing, annotating. And when we're finished, we click on the green checkbox to submit. Now, our activity has been submitted in Seesaw, but we still need to return to our Canvas app, and in this case, submit something to our teacher. We have four options, and we're gonna choose text entry. We're gonna type, I submitted in Seesaw for this example. Click Submit to submit your assignment. And in this case, we can scroll back up to the top and see that we've got a green notification that it's been submitted and a timestamp. Resubmit if needed. Using the Immersive Reader on Chromebooks. When looking at text within a Canvas page, students can use the Immersive Reader option. This allows for any text to be read aloud, resized, and even translated. Clicking on the book icon gives you more options, including choosing a language for translation. In this example, we're going to translate into Spanish, and we're going to check for the entire document to be translated at once. Now, we can make sure that the words have been translated and click on the menu option at the bottom to listen to the words in the new language. You can also toggle back and forth between the original language. Speak, look up, and spell on iPads. On an iPad, students can press and hold on words they need read aloud, researched, defined, or spelled. In this example, we pressed and held on the word butterfly, where we can see it's been able to be defined and searched. When we click speak, the iPad speaks the word out loud. When we click spell, the iPad will spell it out loud. Thank you for watching this video. For more resources, please visit our website or contact your child's teacher.